To service the seals, start by removing the 8 hex socket head bolts using a 10mm allen wrench. Next, remove the discharge manifold. While supporting the manifold, use a rubber hammer and tap away from the crankcase. To remove the inlet manifold, use a 10mm allen wrench to remove the four hex socket head bolts. To assist in removing the inlet manifold, rotate the crankshaft to create separation between the inlet manifold and crankcase. Next, use two flat tip screwdrivers, one on each side between the inlet manifold and crankcase, and pry away from the crankcase. While supporting the manifold, use a rubber hammer to tap away from the crankcase and completely remove. Before servicing, inspect the sealing surface of the inlet manifold for any damage. To service or replace the seals, begin by removing the high pressure seal using a flat tip screwdriver. Use caution not to damage the sealing surface of the manifold during removal. Inspect the seal for any signs of excessive wear or damage. To access the low pressure seal, turn the inlet manifold over with the crankcase seating surface facing up. Place a flat tipped screwdriver under the low pressure seal and pry upwards to remove from the seal chamber. Use caution not to damage the sealing surface of the manifold during removal. Inspect the seal for any signs of excessive wear or damage. Before installing the new seals, you must also replace the o-ring located on the end of the plunger provided in the seal kit. To service this o-ring, start by removing the two-piece seal retainer with wick. Using a 14mm wrench, loosen the plunger retainer. Before completely removing the plunger retainer, stop and push the plunger towards the drive end to break loose from the plunger retainer. Remove the plunger retainer by hand while supporting the plunger. Remove the ceramic plunger and inspect for cracks or abrasion to the surface. Inspect the plunger retainer o-ring, backup ring, and gasket for signs of wear or damage. Next, remove the keyhole washer and barrier slinger. Both of these parts serve as barriers to keep water from entering the crankcase. To reassemble, begin by installing the barrier slinger with a concave side away from the oil seal, followed by the keyhole washer. The slot of the keyhole washer can face any direction. Before reinstalling the plunger retainer, replace with the new o-ring provided in the seal kit. Using a pick, remove the backup ring, o-ring, and gasket. Install the gasket. followed by the new o-ring and backup ring onto plunger retainer. Before installing into the plunger, lubricate the o-ring and backup ring on the plunger retainer. 
Install the plunger retainer into the plunger and press into place. This can only go in one direction. Before installing the plunger assembly, apply liquid thread sealant to the threads of the plunger retainer. Hand thread the plunger assembly into the plunger rod. Using a 14mm wrench, tighten and torque to specification. Ensure the long tail of the wick is positioned down into the oil pan. To access the low pressure seals, place inlet manifold with crankcase sealing side of manifold facing up. Lubricate and install the low pressure seals with the spring side facing down into the inlet manifold. Press into place. To assist in reinstalling the inlet manifold, rotate the crankshaft until the two outside plungers are at an even distance from the crankcase. Use these two outside plungers as guides when installing the manifold. Slide the inlet manifold over ceramic plungers and press towards the crankcase. Use a rubber hammer to ensure manifold is flush to crankcase surface. Before reinstalling, apply liquid thread sealant to each inlet manifold bolt. Using a 10 mm Allen wrench, torque to specification. Next, install the high pressure seals. Lubricate the outside diameter of the seal and place over the plunger with groove side facing out. Use the larger end of the discharge valve adapter with the O-rings removed and tap seal into place. After reinstalling the valve adapter, install the discharge manifold over the plungers and tap with a rubber hammer until seated against the inlet manifold. Hand thread in the eight hex socket head bolts. Using a 10 millimeter Allen wrench, torque to specification using the proper torque sequence.